Good morning. I'm standing in for Doreen this morning. And I'd like to begin the healing minute with a little meditation. Right, you take a deep breath and close your eyes. And imagine yourself on holiday in the country, leaving your house for a walk. And as you stroll down the lane, ahead of you are woods. Walk through the woods, feeling the lovely shade given by the trees. And as you carry on your walk, you leave the woods and you're in a pretty little village. You can hear the sound of church bells. And as you stroll through the village, you can see at the end a very old church with loud ringing bells. Go into the church. There is no service. The sound of bells is so beautiful. You sit and relax for a while. When you get up, you leave the church and carry on your walk. There is another sound. The sound of children laughing and playing. There's a little school in this village, and as you reach the school, a bell sounds, and the children fall away. It's time for you to go back home. We'll pass the old church, through the village, and back into the lovely shaded woods. And as you go through the woods, you walk out into the lane, breathing in the peace and the serenity. Now, open your eyes. But remember that quiet little village and revisit it anytime you want. It's a lovely meditation, very short. You can make it as short or as long as you want. And meditations are always nice when you have a feeling of anxiety or worry. And I'll begin with the healing minute this morning. So we give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing protective love of Mother Earth. In the Harrier Woods prayer, may I be thankful for all the blessings I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness. Protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring the healing ministers close to me so that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, friends, and people for whom they have requested distant healing. May they be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. Please join me now in a minute's silence when we can send our own healing thoughts to anybody who isn't well today. And please, uh, can you send your thoughts out, I have mentioned this before, to a friend of mine and a healer at the sanctuary, Rowena, 
who isn't well at the moment and is going to hospital tomorrow. And as always, please remember the animal kingdom. Our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to our friends in spirit. Amen. I love the Harry Edwards prayer and my favourite part has always been grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Don't worry about things till they come. But perhaps at this time in the world's history, that terrible war in Ukraine, I should be thinking more about the end and that peace shall endure for all time. And wise words, Mr. Edwards. And although that war is quite young, there have already been great acts of heroism and acts of kindness. I'd like to read you today an act of kindness from another conflict. This was the American Civil War. President Abraham Lincoln often visited hospitals to talk with wounded soldiers during the Civil War. Once, doctors pointed out a young soldier who was near death, and Lincoln went over to his bedside. Is there anything I can do for you? asked the President, and the soldier obviously didn't recognise Lincoln, and with some effort he was able to whisper, Would you please write a letter to my mother? A pen and paper were provided, and the President carefully began writing down what the young man was able to say. My dearest mother, I was badly hurt while doing my duty. I'm afraid I'm not going to recover. Don't grieve too much for me, please. Kiss Mary and John for me. May God bless you and Father. And the soldier was two weeks to continue, so Lincoln signed the letter for him and added, written for your son by Abraham Lincoln. The young man asked to see the note and was astonished when he discovered who had written it. Are you really the president? he asked. Yes, I am, Lincoln replied. Then he asked if there was anything else he could do. Would you please hold my hand, the soldier asked. It will help to see me through to the end. In the hushed room, the tall, gaunt president took the boy's hand in his and spoke warm words of encouragement until death came. It's quite a lovely, moving story. I've got some notes for you. Our open healing circle on Tuesday the 1st of March will now include a global healing for peace in the Ukraine, Russia and the whole world. We will begin the event on Zoom at 7.30 and include individual healings for members in the group. At 8pm on Facebook, we will go live with a global healing meditation and a Healing For You session, including prayers and music. Please join us with your candles, real or battery. With prayers and positive intentions, let's fill the world with light to promote peace for all. And as usual, the details are all on Facebook and on our website.
Well, thank you for listening to me. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye.